good morning class how are you all now we are starting with the exams from 13th of uh, this month and today i will be telling your syllabus from open your index page and your chapters which are coming are from section a india country indian first chapter 2 bharat ratan and other words chapter 3 taste of india then sports round up identify the sports fifth the grand slam sixth the world of martial arts grammar in grammar and language reported speech let us improve our english chapter 9 quantifiers and chapter 10 british and american english then comes plant and animal kingdom trees of india interesting trees chapter 13 man's best friend chapter 14 rodents then comes our world and the environment chapter 15 environmental pol pollution and i am not giving chapter 16 so chapter 16 will be deleted the accepted the exemption accepted this time for the next term i'll give you natural wonders then comes the exploring science chapter 17 this is coming for your mid term exam till chapter 17 from chapter 1 till chapter 17 except 16 natural wonders now three chapters have been left for you all i will be teaching you today rodents environmental pollution and elements now children what are rodents do you know what are rodents rodent means a type of a small animal such as rat rabbit and a mouse etc which has strong sharp front teeth those are called rodents some of the rodents are mentioned here now i will be telling you in detail of each of them one the chi this chiefly north american creature resembles the squirrel it has distinct stripes on its body and head see this one it's look like a squirrel the name is chipmuk what the name is chipmuk comes the second it is a small short tail thickish rodent related to to the wolves found in the arctic tundra what is that it is see it is lemming l e l e m m i n g what do you mean by wolves it is a small animal like a mouse that lives in the fields this type now comes the third one this animal this see this animal is the largest rodent in the world it is native to south america and lives in the large groups that is capybara see see this one its name is capybara c a p y b a r a then comes the fourth one this little animal is a very common household pet it is particularly known for its ability to learn and remember a particular path a particular path is a way and the name of this animal is guinea pig spelling g u i n e a p i g see this is the animal then comes the fifth one it's a guinea pig is a small animal with fur short ears and has no tails understood then comes the fifth one this slow and round rodent is covered with quills it usually lives on the land but sometimes also dwells on the trees covered with quill it's it it means a large feather from the wing or the tail dwells 
to live or stay the name of the animal this rodent is porcupine what it is porcupine p o r c u p i n e then comes the sixth one this creature is found in the north and central america this burrowing rodent is an expert at making tunnels that resembles honeycomb what do you mean by honeycomb the the stri stripe of stiff material the name of this animal is gopher g o p h e r understood then comes novedderic the teeth of the rodents do not include canines what are canines one of the four pointed teeth in the front they only have two pairs of incisors what are incisors incisors are front sharp teeth that cut food when you bite into it these include the front teeth one upper pair and one lower pair which grow throughout their lives then comes the chapter environmental pollution what do you mean by environmental pollution environmental pollution Con this contains environmental pollutants contain hydro harmful hydrocarbons carnagens and other deadly chemicals which cause fatal diseases like cancer now there are the op four options given to these questions you have to answer it the emission of which of these gases causes acid rain what is acid rain children acid rain is caused by chemical reaction that begins when compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the air these substances can rise very high into the atmosphere where they mix and react with water oxygen and other chemicals to form more acidic pollution that is known as acid rain now the emission of these gases causes acid rain now you come to know the answer is sulfur dioxide second which of these is a climate pattern that describes the unusual warming of surface water in the eastern tropical pacific ocean the answer is el nino what is el nino el nino is a climate pattern that describes the unusual warming of surface waters in the eastern tropical pacific el nino events occur irregularly at 2 to 7 years of intervals now comes the third which of these scatters sunlight directly back into space aerosol the answer is aeris aerosol what is aerosol aerosol is the suspension of fine solid particles or liquids droplets or in air understood it is the suspension of fine solid particles or liquid droplets in air the way aerosol scatters sunlight directly back into space in the uh, upper atmosphere they scatter sunlight directly back into space when they reflect sunlight less energy le reaches the lower atmosphere which cools the earth's surface in the low at atmosphere the aerosols modify cloud particles size which changes now clouds reflect and absorb sunlight understood no
Now you understand this thing. Aerosols is a suspension of fine solid particles or liquid droplets into the air. Then comes the fourth question. Which of these are widely used as coolants in refrigerators and air conditioners? The answer is chlorofluorocarbon. What is chlorofluorocarbon? Uh, gases used for various purposes including solvents, refrigerators and air conditioners. Understood? Now, what makes up to about 60 to 80 percent of all marine debris? What are debris? Pieces from something that has been destroyed especially in an accident. The answer is plastic. What is plastic? 60 to 80 percent of all marine debris and 90 percent of all floating debris is made from plastic. Then comes sixth one. Which of these is one of the most harmful components of smog? That is ozone. What is ozone? It is also called smog is air pollution that reduces visibility. The term smog is a mixture of smoke and fog. Seventh one, which of these is not a source of indoor air pollution? The answer is industrial effluent. What is industrial effluent? Industrial effluent is an outflowing of water or gas to a natural body of water from structures such as wastewater treatment plant in serve a uh, uh, industrial outflow understood now comes the environmental pollutants it it contains harmful hydrocarbons carnagens and other deadly chemicals which cause fatal diseases like cancer. Then now I am not taking this chapter 16. I will be taking for next term. Then I will now your next chapter will be element which is coming in your midterm exams. What are elements? An element is a type of atom that is defined by its atomic number the number of proton in its nucleus, the term also refers to a pure chemical substance composed of atoms with the same number of protons. There are 118 chemical elements out of which 94 occur naturally on earth. Now some of the elements have been given with you. Now, I'll tell you about them. Then orange pink element used to make electrical wires and cables. The name of the element is copper. Now this turns to liquid at room temperature also known as quicksilver. The name of the element is mercury. A white colored element used in developing photographic negatives. The name of the element is Silver Haldi. H A L I D E. Then comes the a deficiency of this leads to a disease called goitre. It's iodine. I O D I N E. The fifth one used in the process of galvanization while electroplating an iron object. Zinc. Then sixth one used for giving a white polish to costume jewelry, silver. Have you understood about copper, mercury, silver, haldi, iodine, zinc and silver? Then you have to identify the symbols. What is the full form of these? Cu is copper. C-O-P-P-E-R. A-U is gold. G O L D gold P B is lead L E A D lead A G is silver S I L V E R H G is mercury M E R C U R Y S N is tin 
T I N T. Now, in 2016, four new elements were added to the periodic table. That is nihonium. That N H. Moscovium. M C. Tennessine. T S. And organosin. That is O G. Now, up till this chapter. your syllabus has been completed for your midterm exam thank you children have a nice